Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel! Well, it's holiday season obviously and of course Mattel like always have released their holiday special Barbie dolls. And of course guys when I've seen this doll online I just had to buy her. Because let's be honest, it looks just gorgeous. This doll in this stunning red dress, this packaging is so absolutely really stunning, even these letters on the front, this Christmas tree on the back, this snow and glitter around, really amazingly pretty. So I've bought this doll, of course, I got it in my hands, and you know what? There are serious minus points that I cannot neglect. Of course, all together it looks amazing. Also like the magic of the dress and the magic of this packaging, they work 100%. But if we take a closer look at this doll, I don't know if you can see it very well. Maybe we should probably now quickly unbox this doll and then I will be able to explain you a little bit better what I mean. So here is our doll finally unchained and now I will try to explain you what I don't like about this doll. This dress is gorgeous, really, it's absolutely amazing. Here it's more such a slim silhouette and on top we have this beautiful red skirt and also this sleeve decoration is also very pretty. But this is approximately the only plus point I see in this doll and I will show you exactly what I don't like about it. So first of all, I don't really like her face because her face is just a generic Barbie face. Sorry guys, but I've seen it already hundreds of times starting from, I don't know, 1991 probably or something like this. This is just the very... I don't know, the most boring, the most generic Barbie face mold and her makeup is also so boring. Yes, it's cute, it's Barbie, it's always cute. I cannot say that this is an ugly doll, but I expect something more from a holiday special than just a generic Barbie face mold plus a generic Barbie makeup. Uh, then her hair. No, let's first of all talk about the condition of her hair. This I couldn't see in the box. Uh, sorry guys, but her hair is already damaged. I think her hair has been a little bit burned uh, while they were making these curls. People who work with doll hair, I believe you're going to agree with me. Because this effect you get when you work uh, with not temperature resistant hair and you use your curler on uh, very high temperatures. Because I don't know, this situation will not be able to solve. Let's try to brush it here a little bit, but to me it looks damaged. Well, another thing I don't like about this doll is actually her hair color. Well, I can't get the message from Mattel. They tried probably to step away from making another platinum blonde Barbie doll. And they made this champagne blonde hair color. And it's also some sort of a blend. You can see here more platinum hair strands mixed with this yellowish color. But I don't know, for me it doesn't work honestly, for me it just looks too yellow, it's just not a good blonde hair color. I don't know, it looks like some old wig from the 50s or like, I don't know, like some old Barbie dolls, they all used to have this yellowish hair color. I absolutely don't like, not the quality of the hair. No, not the color of it, I don't know. And I also absolutely hate the hairstyle. Really, guys, come on. It's almost 2020. And this hairstyle, it's something from, I don't know, late 90s, maybe beginning of 2000s. I don't know, it's so boring. Nobody makes these hairstyles anymore. Nobody. It's something from toddlers and tiaras from that time on the television, really. Now nobody wears it anymore. But anyway, let's now try to fix all these mistakes. Let's give her new hair. But anyway, I'm trying to kind of work with the original features. I'm not going to give her brown hair or pink hair. I'm going to keep her like this blonde Barbie doll, but I will try to make her very contemporary, give her some normal 
pretty blonde hair color give her some more original face because this one is way too generic yes yeah, she's pretty all barbie dolls are pretty but i would love to see more i don't know more character or more cuteness something like this yeah so let's undress this doll let's cut off her hair let's remove her makeup and let's try to give this doll a complete makeover let's try to improve an original holiday special Mattel Barbie doll. And while I'm working, of course, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button. I upload new doll repaint videos every week Friday. Yes, and by the way, guys, about the next week Friday. Right now, when you're watching these videos, I am with my parents on holidays. First, we went for some short see vacation with my mom uh, i booked some last minute <laughs> holidays because really i can tell you all this ftc situation all this youtube changes of course it makes some influence on my mental state and stuff like this so that's why i've decided to take a short break like two weeks first spend the week on the seaside and then a week with my parents so i'm not really sure about the next week friday's video it's gonna be a special one, uh, but I'm not sure if I will be able to release it on Friday the 27th of December because I'm coming back to Belgium on December 25th so I'm not really sure if I will be able to work there and finish it up here but anyway this big special video will anyway come out somewhere till the end of this year maybe on 31st of December even we'll celebrate the last day of the year with some big special Bob and Atelier video so that was my short message and now I'm going to start working finally After I cut off the hair, I use like always my hair dryer to warm up the rubber head and to make it soft. And after the head has been disconnected from the body, I remove the rest of the short hair from the inside of the doll's head using my tweezers. And after this, I still need to remove this doll's face using pure acetone. I've decided to replace her yellow and kind of old looking blonde hair with this beautiful golden ashy blonde. I think this color would look much more natural and prettier. Yeah, I just think it's just a prettier kind of a blonde hair. So I take my rerouting tool and I refill all these holes in her head with the strands of new hair. So this is how her hair looks a couple of hours later and honestly I think it looks much better than before. So now I can add some tacky glue inside of the head, it will hold new hair on its place and I let the glue dry completely. After 
this I prime her face with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and then I can start drawing her face. I begin like always with sketching her face with a watercolor pencil and after this I'm going to add shadows using soft pastels. I think I'm going to give her green eyes, they will look very bright next to the red dress. And by the way, what color were her eyes originally? Probably also green. Can you believe it? I don't even remember it anymore. What color eyes have I just removed with acetone? Does anyone remember? I don't know. I will have to rewatch the footage probably. Green or blue? In the end add reflections to her eyes using white acrylics and after this we can move to the body. There is not that much color difference between the head and the body, but let's blush it anyway with soft pastels because it will make it more realistic looking in the end. And I'm starting like always with removing the glossy top from the surface using nail buffers and like this the sealant and the pigments everything will stick better to the body. Then I clean it with an acetone free nail polish remover, prime it with a couple of layers of Mr. Super Clear sealant and then I blush it with soft pastels. So I've connected the head and the body and right now let's probably style her hair. And I think I'm going to give her some very soft curls in a soft glam style. 
I don't know, or maybe high ponytail. I don't know, guys. I don't know it yet. I will play with her hair a little bit and I will see what looks best on her. So this is where I ended up with her hair and now let's attach some shiny crystals to her ears instead of these chunky earrings and then I will add a touch of glossy acrylic varnish to her eyes and lips. Well, now I just need to put this dress on the doll and then we'll take a look at the end result pictures, but actually I've decided to give this doll even two dresses. I also have this very pretty dress from the last year edition Holiday Barbie and I think it was also a stunning one. It will perfectly fit our doll as well. So here is my new version of a holiday special Barbie. It was maybe a little bit less complicated makeover than a week ago, for example, when I've made that winter unicorn with lots of accessories, with lots of details. But this time I had a goal to improve this already existing doll. And I don't know guys, in my eyes I think I've perfectly reached this goal because I really love this doll much more now after the makeover. Like for example her hair color, it looks much more stylish. And her hairstyle is also much more up to date now. And her face also looks of course much more alive and realistic. And I also love her in both dresses, by the way, I don't really know which one I prefer most. So what do you think, guys? Which version of this doll do you like most? The original or the repainted, the customized one? And also which dress is your favorite one? The most recent one or the one from a year ago? And also, what do you think about this year's holiday Barbie collection? Please don't hesitate to share your thoughts in the comments down below, like always. So and that was my doll transformation of the week guys, I really hope you enjoyed it today and if so please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes, of course subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button and I will see you already very soon, maybe not Friday but another day still till the end of this year in my new video and it's going to be a really cool one, I'll probably even set up the premiere function that we will be able to discuss it live with you. So guys, thank you so much for watching it today. I wish you, of course, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Love you guys, have fun and see you very soon. Bye!